to really know what makes a great city work, you have to peel back its skin and expose its secret life force. A system of incredible complexity and technology that millions depend on but few understand. A fantastic voyage now begins, a journey deep inside the world's mega cities. It's the world's biggest city. It covers more than 1,400 square kilometers. Its population density is greater than New York City, Tokyo, or London. But for the nearly 18 million people who live here, it's not just another metropolis. Mexico City is ground zero. On one side, one of the world's most earthquake-prone hotspots. On another, one of the world's most active volcanoes. And beneath their feet, the shaky foundation of an ancient lake bed. For Mother Nature, Mexico City is one big target. At any moment, the big one could hit. From the instant the alarm sounds, they have just 60 seconds to reach safety. Ahorita son simulacros. Cuando sea verdad, nos vamos a repetir, jóvenes. Por favor, tomen su papel en serio. For the children of Mexico City, this drill may seem like fun and games. But for the adults, it's deadly serious. In 1985, they lived through the real thing. The threat lies off the coast of Acapulco, beneath the placid Pacific. Anywhere along the shoreline, a quake could originate. Here, the Cocos and Rivera tectonic plates are forcing their way beneath a North American plate. The most feared section is the dreaded Guerrero Gap. For nearly a century, the pressure has been building. The Guerrero Gap lies 300 kilometers from Mexico City. But for a people devastated by a quake just two decades ago, it's too close for comfort. Unfortunately, this is closer to Mexico City than the 1985 earthquake, and we expect it could generate a huge disaster in the city. Dr. Juan Manuel Espinoza manages Mexico City's Seismic Alert System, or SAS. He spent his life developing technology to detect the next big quake. This is what pushed for the development of the electroseismic system. It's what justifies the development of the system. Today, along the Pacific coast, Mexico City is guarded by the first system of its kind. Twelve seismic sensors to detect earthquake tremors. These are the city's high-tech prophets of doom. The system of alert seismic the seismic alert system covers the region where there could be an earthquake with equipment like this, where we have seismic sensors that continuously listen to the sound of the ground and analyze it. Continuamente escuchan el sonido del suelo y lo analizan. They listen for vibrations and measure their strength. The force of any earthquake is measured on the Richter scale. Most people know it by name. Few understand its diabolical mathematics. Though the scale theoretically has no limit, every quake ever measured has fallen between 0 and 9.5. But a single decimal point 
can mean a giant increase in destruction. Each additional 0.1 means 100% more force. In Mexico City, a quake above 7.5 can destroy buildings. The 1985 quake that devastated Mexico City, 8.0. Beyond 8.5, ruin. When a quake registers at least 6.0, it activates a seismic monitoring station. When at least two stations are activated, they relay a signal to Mexico City, automatically triggering an alarm. In Mexico City, distance equals time. The city's salvation lies in grade school algebra, and it's already worked. September the 14th, 1995, 8.04 a.m. From the Pacific, a fierce quake thunders ashore. In 13 seconds, it registers on station 11. Four seconds later, on station 12. The quake measures 7.3 on the Richter scale, and it's moving toward Mexico City at 12 times the speed of the world's fastest commercial jet. But the SAS alert beats the quake to the city by 72 seconds. Not one resident is killed. When the alarm sounds, a carefully choreographed movement begins. Buildings empty, subways shut down. To avoid fires, power is cut, and gas lines are closed. Rescue workers scramble. But Mexico City's entire civil defense depends on the thin red line of sentinels, the earthquake sensors on the coast. If they fail, a quake will hit with no warning at all. To prevent failures, the sensors are routinely inspected. Today, it's a sensor at the San Pedro station near Acapulco. For Roberto Islas, just getting there is shaky. To come here to the station with all the difficulties it entails to perform maintenance, we are motivated because we know our job is important, not only for us, but for every person who lives in Mexico City. And that if an earthquake occurs, we may save many lives. The equipment is so delicate, it needs shielding from the subtropical sun. And Roberto must work fast. The routine maintenance is done every two months. So every two months we come to look at each one of the parameters of the sensor equipment and the modifications in the tower. We measure the voltage parameters with the multimeter we have here with us. The sensor passes the inspection. The electronic lookout faithfully mans its post. In the never-ending war with Mother Nature, Mexico City remains on the defensive, ever alert, never knowing when it will be forced to relive a nightmare, the day the earth shook. Most great cities are founded on rivers. Mexico City was founded on prophecy. On a swampy island, Aztec legend says, an omen appeared. An eagle perched on a cactus eating a snake. An omen to build. The Aztecs built Tenochtitlan, the city of dreams. Through the centuries, it survived Mother Nature's worst torments. Then, from across the sea, came a man-made disaster. Spanish conquistadors destroyed the city of dreams and built a new city in its place. Centuries later, disaster still arrived.